An ER doctor reacts to I show speed dumbest injuries. So this, so a real doctor reacted. Let's check it out. Oh, okay. So, oh my gosh. Impromptu body piercings, dares gone wrong, and what exactly is this red stuff right there? Today, we are back at it, breaking down and reacting to all of the- Yo, I'm not gonna lie, he looks like a doctor, doesn't he? He just looks like a YouTube doctor. Channel, I show speed. Speedy sometimes gets a little loud in terms of yelling. You may want to turn down your volume just a bit. Let's dive right in. Yeah, oh. bro. When somebody gets hit on the lateral aspect of the head, the biggest thing you always worry about is abrasions, lacerations. Those are your first things. Then you think possible skull fractures if there's enough injury. Oh, okay. So, oh my gosh. So he's bleeding in the mouth. If you get hit in the head and your mouth is open and it causes you to clench right away, you're going to get cut by your own process. So you're going to bite your tongue, you're going to bite your cheek. But in general, if you get trauma to your brain, there wouldn't be a specific reason why you're actually bleeding out of your mouth. It doesn't work that way. Wait, am I dead? His behavior, I don't know how to explain that. If somebody has brain trauma and injuries, you could be somnolent. You could be out of Wait, is he saying I'm up the breathing and you could be super quiet. Or you can be hyperactive, not making sense, confused. So it's a huge spectrum of symptoms that can happen. Yeah, bro, I don't like know if he has braces on or not. I can't tell. But for me, when I used to have braces, abrasion, brush to the, your mouth or the side of your cheek could actually cut your cheek and cause some bleeding. So that's another thing just to think about. So if he's actually in pain and he did bite down on his tongue, he needs to get to the urgent care, to the ER to be evaluated. Bro, what? the time, the tongue laceration injury, if it's small, will actually heal on its own. No! You don't need to repair it. It'll heal within 24 to 48 hours. The death! Bro! So this whole time I had brain damage? And this dude, bro, and this doctor, like, just now saying this? This whole time I had brain damage. And this doctor just now saying this, bro. Like, bro, what? Nut challenge. Death nut challenge. What is this? Whoa. whoa, whoa. I oh, I remember, that, I, I remember that, bro. I remember that. I remember that. Hottest peppers. Oh, my gosh. I wonder if there's just a ton of sprayed on hot sauce. It's got a burning skull. I'm assuming it's going to be horribly hot. I remember that. Oh, is this eating them? Oh, my gosh. You know it's a delayed onset horribleness. Work through it, buddy. I literally Work almost through. died right there. And, and look. All of y'all was laughing, bro. <laughs> Trying to focus. You're having like a full body. And I almost died, bro. Of the burning flavor in your And mouth, I almost died. Your esophagus into your stomach. You get a stomach ulcer from this stuff. I actually haven't seen anybody come in specifically with stomach ulcers, but people are eating a lot of hot foods and they do get gastrointestinal issues. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, he looks like so much pain. We see some blood coming out of his mouth. Did he bite his lip? Did it cause the gums to start bleeding a little bit on the right side? Or could this be not real blood? Faker! I don't know, but you could definitely have some bleeding in your mouth. Watch this. Watch this. Watch, no check. Okay, so Bro, like, this doctor just think he knows everything. Like, he okay, he's having a doctor ulcer because he calls gums, braces. Like, bro, you're not a real doctor, bro. I'm a real doctor, bro. I know exactly what kind of functions I'm going on, and you have to understand, bro. Like, people from Portugal has different injuries than, like, regular people, bro. And that's and that's what this guy doesn't generally understand, you know? I wonder which medical he goes to. I would love to go to his doctor to see, you know, like, whatever he does. But, like, come on, bro. Now, this right here, let me, no, matter of fact, let me tell what happened at this part. Okay, I sucked in the helium. And, like, like, everything, like, looked like the, like, I don't know how to explain it. Like, it looked like, like, stuff was vibrating. Then like I couldn't like, like I just like passed out like 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 I swear to God like stuff was vibrating and like my head was light I was like oh my God and like and I just went to sleep I swear to God oh my dead on bro literally bro. Thank you, I believe, for, for balloons, straight. right? Look so helium straight. is a type of gas that's light, so that's why the balloons were able Literally. to fly. Literally. Uh, people will try to inhale or breathe in some helium to I mess with your own vocal cords. I swear. So we, I have nobody. Cause I'm oh, 
if you actually inhale too much helium, it actually can cause uh, hypoxia and you can actually die from asphyxiation where you're actually not getting any oxygen into your system. This is actually quite serious, so please do not do that. I feel like it. Yeah, typically when somebody's about to pass out, you will have symptoms of see? Like tingly, see? you might see stars, see? you might have tunnel vision, and yeah. you're quite lightheaded. Yeah. So people in that circumstance to just lay down flat on the ground to make sure you're getting enough blood flow to your brain, and then just take nice, good, deep breaths. Bro, watch out, my eyesight is messy. See, I told y'all! I'm turning green. Oh my goodness, bro. Go breathe some air, bro. Breathe air. Oh, good. At least somebody in his live comments are saying, hey, breathe air. Just continue to breathe oxygen oh, I, through the normal air. What is the percentage? I thought he was being funny, bro. Air, about 21%. But he was actually right. I got to breathe air. About to give myself a nose piercing, y'all. Yeah. Nose pierce yourself. Or if you're going to do a nose pierce, any piercing. Make sure it's clean. And sterile as possible. Know where you got it from. I actually don't advise you to do this yourself. You may do it. Bro, oh my god. Like, bro, is he my dad? Like, holy crap. Doctor Stan here. God damn. <laughs> oh my god. It burns. It okay. Burns. Well, we have potential bacteria on our skin everywhere just because it protects us from the environment. So when you actually poke a hole through your skin, you're inoculating yourself or putting that potential bacteria into your tissue and increasing your risk of having cellulitis, which is a medical word for Bro, infection of your skin. I got cellulitis. Ow! Oh, you mean do it fast, man? Yeah. All right, come on, speed, baby. Speed gay! So the tough part is he's talking. As you talk, your nose moves because of where it is attacked on your face. I'd be very still if I was doing this. Oh my gosh, he is sweating. He is sweating. He's uncomfortable. There's got to be a huge mental component of doing self-injections, doing you know, needles to yourself. That's a hard thing to do. Our bodies are not made to cause self-inflicted pain. An obvious defense mechanism that we have that we're not supposed to do that. It's got a wonderful defense mechanism. Ah! Bro, Chad, watch he say I got cancer next. Watch. Oh! Ew! burns and it hurts so it hurts and it burns because there's now a new hole in your face i wonder if this mechanism that he has is almost like ones that we use at work where if you fully push it through it retracts when it's done versus if you partially do something it actually hasn't completed the mechanism that it was designed to function as and then it's still hanging there i can't push it out some parts of your nose obviously are cartilage. It takes a very long time to heal if it does at all because you have decreased blood supply hey, yo. in the areas. Thus, if it gets infected, it gets Call very anyway. hard to then treat it. Get ready for the cinnamon challenge. Oh no. <gasps> cinnamon challenge. I'm wondering what you about to say about this, bro. For a very long time. You have to take a spoonful of cinnamon. All right, bro. CPR. CPR. or opt, please. Yeah, like. What is he about to say about this? <laughs> what is he about to say about this? The reason you would do the Heimlich maneuver is if you're, oh. if you're having this probably eyes out your irritation. Come on! Sometimes breathing very good to continue to react. Off with what? That was it? Risk. Mm, bro. All right, doctor. Well, doctor, it seems like I'm I'm, I'm 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 okay, and I'm still living, doctor. So, doctor, uh, doctor, uh, Mike, I'm still okay.